A few weeks ago, I posted a video about a feature in Logic Pro that I didn't know about that I wish I would have known of a long time ago, and you guys loved it. So I'm gonna show you 10 tips inside of Logic Pro that you probably didn't know about. What's up guys, this is Valentina with Bigger Creations. And if you're new to this channel, I make videos all about how I produce my own music in Logic Pro with over 15 years of experience. Today, we're gonna talk about 10 tips that you probably didn't know about inside of Logic Pro that'll really help streamline things for you. Let's jump in. Now, we all know we can hit Command D to duplicate a track, and that will duplicate the track settings onto a different track. But did you know that you could actually duplicate the track along with anything that's on it? So any MIDI files, audio files, all you have to do is click, hold option and drag down, and now you have two identical tracks. Okay, the next tip is all about automation. Now, if you hit A on your keyboard, you'll be able to see all the automation settings for your track, and everyone knows you can just click on these lines and make adjustments wherever you need, but sometimes you wanna do something a little bit smoother without having to do the touch option. And all you have to do to do that is hit T and then P for the pencil tool, and now you can draw things in smooth transition like if you were drawing them yourself. The next tip is something that's helpful in actual plugins, but also in some of the panning or volume settings inside of Logic Pro. So you'll find it useful in a lot of different places. You know, you pan something to the right, you pan something to the left. So if you ever wanna just like completely set things back to zero, a quick way to do that is to hit option and hold that while you click on what you want to adjust. And it will reset those parameters back to their original settings. The next tip is when you're looking at MIDI in the piano roll. Let's say you played all these notes and they are all in a different velocity. Some are slow in velocity, some are high in velocity. In order to actually change them all to be the same exact velocity, select all of your MIDI notes by hitting Command A and then hold Option and move this knob. It will globally change all of those MIDI notes to be the same exact velocity. This next tip is clutch when you're trying to figure out how to arrange things. Sometimes you just want to say, oh, you know what? I wonder if maybe if just get rid of it and see what it would sound like to go from this part of the song to this part. All you have to do is put your loop region to cover the area that you want to skip in playback and then hit, hold command, click on the cycle range. And now it is going to automatically skip that region while you're playing back your track. You can always undo it by holding command and clicking in on the range. Have you ever had a bunch of different plugins opened up on your screen, but then you need to make a minor adjustment and you don't want to close every single screen to just make that adjustment and then have to manually reopen them all? I got you. Just hit V on your keyboard. All of the plugins that you had open will then be hidden. So you can go in, make changes that you want to change and then hit V again and they will open up again. Sometimes you're just trying to figure things out. And so you're playing back your track while you're noodling on your MIDI controller or your MIDI keyboard and you play something exactly how you want it, but you weren't recording. Something you need to know about Logic is that it's always recording. Here's how you get that recording when you've been noodling around, but weren't actually hitting record. So let's say I really like the tail end of that, but shoot, I wasn't recording. All you have to do is hit Shift R and it will automatically populate what was actually being played back, even though you weren't hitting record. Okay, this next tip is really, really cool, especially if you use drum loops, but you wanna kinda customize them and make them your own, but you like the samples that were used in that drum loop. Here's how you get those specific sounds into Drum Machine Designer. So I like this drum loop. I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to do drum machine designer. And what it does is it automatically detects all of the transients in that drum loop and puts them and maps them onto your drum machine. Okay, this next tip is actually really cool and something that I use really, really often, especially when it comes to my delay. So did you know that you can actually bus something that's on a bus to another bus? I know. Sounds confusing. Let me show you what I mean. So in this scenario, I've got my vocals in here and I have delay being sent to a bus, bus number 10. So the only thing I have on this bus is delay. But let's say I want some reverb on that delay. Instead of creating a whole other reverb and adding it to this and mixing it in, what I can actually do is I know that on bus nine, I have reverb, the reverb that I have my main vocal going to. 
So what I can do here is go down to sends while I'm in that delay bus and send that to my reverb. And now I can use the bus knob for that to determine how much reverb I want in that delay to happen. The best part about this is that you can do this with any effect. So remember that you can actually send your sends to another send as well. Okay, here we go. Tip number 10. This is the last tip. Did you know that you can actually mute parts of your mix without having to delete them from your tracks? We're going to want to be using the marquee tool, which you can get to by hitting T and then R. And let's say that I wanted the drums to kind of cut out on this part. So I'm going to mark the area that I want the drums to stop. And then I'm going to hit control M. Now that MIDI data is still there, but it's muted and I didn't have to get rid of it. So there you have it, guys. Those are 10 hidden tips that you probably didn't know about inside of Logic Pro. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that my voice does not sound like this all the time. So next video, hopefully things will be back in motion and you'll be seeing more production. But uh, in the meantime, hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And as always, if you have any questions or want to see more content, check me out on Spotify, Instagram, TikTok. Keep making beats.